Hello and welcome to a new video today. I'm gonna to showcase Aroma Tease here on the channel. Um, you might have already known that this Pokemon is in the game, but yeah, it's basically added into the game with a new event which is currently ongoing. And I kinda of wanted to try it out in Ultra Premiere before it gonna go away and gonna be replaced by the Retro Cup, which is gonna be out in like tomorrow for me. And also for you, because like this video is gonna come out in like four and a half hours from me right now. So um yeah, I kinda of want to show this before that, just so we already have like kinda of view on that thing. And I must say, okay, it's it's not fully powered up, you need like 250XL candy basically for that thing. 250? No, 296 actually. 296 XL candy for that thing. I think mine needs like only 250. It's rank 8. But I think I only need to have like 48.5 or something like that as a level. So it's okay, but my current one is like level 42, 43, somewhere around there. It's just difficult to get the XL candy right now. And you kind of need them. But it's still alright. Like for Charma, it's not as important actually to have them like fully powered up because most matchup they win, they win like clear. So it's not as important. But there are like some matchups to which I played with this team where like I would have won if my Romatis would be like 2500 CP, not 2300 CP. And I'm mostly gonna call this video something like the Better Claw Fable because I think it's the Better Claw Fable. <laughs> what I call. Because um, I think like the cool thing about the new Charmers that got introduced also like Slurpuff. But I think Aromatis is better than Slurpuff. Also because of the CP which is gonna have and like the general set product. But Aromatis has the option to have. Thunderbolt in the moveset, which I highly recommend you. A Thunderbolt plus Psychic does make a lot of sense for a Charm user, which gives them a huge advantage against like, like against like Clefable, for example. Like Clefable can only use stuff that's really not super effective against Steel types. Like can use like Psychic, Media Mesh, Boom Blast, or Dazzling Team, or whatever that thing has. And yeah, they all get resisted by Steel types, which is not the case for Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt is at least neutral or against Emporion, for example, it's actually super effective. And there are like a lot of other instances where you kind of want to have Thunderbolt. Like Thunderbolt is really, really good there. They are like, if you face uh, a Talonflame, for example, Thunderbolt does like 60-70%. You can actually beat them if the opponent has no shields or he just no shields because he does not know your moveset. I actually think that the addition of Thunderbolt to the moveset is like super good for that because it like hits steel types are neutral and some steel types like also Skarmory get then super effective damage against that and like against water type it's better and it's just in general like you don't you're like way better against like flyer like fire flyer which are like always kind of difficult for Charmin to deal with so I think it's just better than Clefable to be honest it's just like a better Clefable because it just has better coverage Slurpuff um, gonna be also kind of interesting because it has energy ball and flamethrower which is also nice because flamethrower is good against steel types and whatever but then gets hard countered against the by talon flame which is like not the case for aroma teeth so I think both are fine I'm not gonna prefer to showcase Slurpuff this iteration of um, Ultra League because you need like to have it maxed out with around 100% Pokemon. Yeah, I've got a rank 8 so I was just like already trying to build that a bit earlier on now. But yeah, I'm not gonna pull up like a garbage slurp up there which does not even have like 100 IV or close to 100 IV so I'm gonna wait. Maybe I can trade some. The event is still going on for like 10 days for me now. So I'm just gonna wait for that. It's just not really intelligent right now to power up this thing. So should be maybe a video in the future. But I already got I think a good one for Great League, so maybe I'm just gonna showcase that there. But I cannot use them in Retro Cup because in Retro Cup fair types are sadly not available. I mean it's it's actually like Retro Cup gonna be interesting. Like I'm definitely gonna showcase the team around that immediately when it comes out. But yeah, like Retro Cup is. I think the idea behind Retro Cup is actually kind of stupid from the antic. Like, I like caps that are limited, like in typings and stuff like that. But not allowing types that, that got added into the game because something in the game was unbalanced or broken is just like st stupid. I mean, um, back type got added because psychic type was too broken, steel type got added because psychic type was too broken, and fairy type got added because dragon types were too broken. And like, 
it just doesn't really make sense to me that they just gonna have a cup where all the thing that got there for rebalancing is basically not allowed. It's just like doesn't really make sense. Here we barely lose actually. I'm kinda unlucky. You're gonna get to move for now. Here we need a one more counter there. That's really unlucky, but that's fine. But yeah, Horator Cup is something that I'm kinda skeptical about. I think like stuff like me, you gonna be really good. Like of course every Dragon Breath you are gonna be like super strong there. But it's gonna be interesting. I have a team in mind that should be super super decent. But we have to see. We have to see, I'm gonna showcase it on Tuesday, it's still at least with ELO, which is good. People actually care here, also we have like the case of Jason against us. Which is good for us, because we can go for Thunderbolt and KO that thing. People might expect something that's a bit weaker or something like that, but here we just win against the Jason. I have to stay in here, but I get a lot of damage on him, which is at least decent, but he farms me down, which is... A good play from him. He has a stun fisk. I have to go into my Gudra here because I can debuff him at least. I get some damage on him and I need my SK for the um, Ninetales in there. So, like, there I had no other play. And it's not a good matchup here as well, but at least I get to like Muddy Water kind of quick. And he has to Earthquake me, so. Guess that's the best deal. We don't get a debuff here. It's only 30%, sadly. Still, I think um, King Rise better than. Gudra, but yeah, it's, it's still okay. I actually like the Dr Draco Media on Gudra, I had a lot of fun recently with that. I think that's my favorite move that you could argue of using power up Draco Media. So, as it would be also kind of nice, I think. Here, we're gonna have still a really close matchup. We're gonna go for the drill run. Of course, we need another drill run after this. I have to, I have to no shield here, it goes for the weather ball. He still has some Pokemon on the back, so it's gonna be kind of difficult. We can try to counter here. Yeah, I like SCAF, I got like a new build SCAF, which is like rank 10 or something for Ultra League now, which is kind of cool. And yeah, we won't be able to win this year. It was really close though. Yeah, here goes into Stunfisk. There's nothing really we can do here anymore. Both Pokemon had basically like 1 HP in a dream, but it's fine. Now against the next opponent, we have Aromatis against Dragonite. Perfect matchup for us. We can just farm down. Okay, he goes into Gengar. I can go into my Gudra. Gudra against Gengar, like, it's it's still a really decent matchup. Everything with Dragon Breath against Gengar is, like, really good because Gengar is not a lot of book and especially not a lot of HP, which is just, like, perfect for me because, like, with Dragon Breath, the run turn move just really wrecks him. We can farm up a lot of energy here. He goes back into Dragonite. I try to get to the Draco Media in time. But he's gonna go through the move here, which is definitely smart. I tried to get to my move, but didn't work out. I can just farm him down. He goes into Toxic Croak now. And the good thing here about this thing is that I can just go into my SCAF, try to catch like a Sludge Bomb or anything like that. And I don't have to shield here. I can just like double shield my my um, Aromatis and win this match. And my opponent just gave up at that point. <laughs> so he just gonna throw Sludge Bombs at me because it doesn't really matter for him. What he throws, he always loses. So <laughs> it's basically his way of giving up. It's kind of funny. Yeah, and he's also like he's some of those games were on my live stream and some were, were like outside my live stream. But yeah, he was also like in my chat there and said, Good game. So good game to my opponent there. We have Dragonite lead again, like of course really good. Emporion, we have like our safe swap and SCAF. We actually have to shield here, I think, do we? I should not shield here actually, yeah. Uh, for me, like either I get his shield here. And get him like really low, or you can farm down with Gudra and try to drag media the Dragon Knight. And here, just gonna shield. He's like right into farm down range for my Gudra. I think I can get there before he gets to two. Gonna be interesting. But then I can just Draco him, and then I have my Aromatis with two shields, which should be okay. Okay, he gets the two moves here. But I should be able to get to the Draco. Yep, perfectly fine. Okay, and right to the Draco, I can drag media the Dragon Knight. I guess you're gonna no shield this. Yep, and you have a Gengar in the back. Oh, this is still gonna be a really close match. Ooh. If we had like Aromatis fully mixed out here, we would have been definitely fine. But he goes for a Shadow Punch, which is of course the right bait. I tried to get for the to the Psychic because Psychic has a chance to debuff his defense, which would really help me in this case. I'm not gonna shield this, and now it's gonna be good right against this Gengar. Oh god. I don't know if he has already had two moves. And he is, and he wins with 1 HP in a dream. That's super close, but good game to my opponent here. Like, that was really well played. 
Next opponent we have Aromatis against Charizard. Of course, really, really bad. We go into our Snorlax this time around. We change the team a bit. That's also why I don't have like a team on the right side. I think I've played like four different teams around Aromatis. So. It's okay, here we shoot the Blast Burn, we can go for Body Slam, we get like some damage on him, which is like really good. He has Wing Attack, I like Wing Attack on Charizard. If you haven't checked out my video about Wing Attack Charizard with the cheap team, highly recommend Wing Attack Charizard is like one of the best quick move elite TMs you can use, I think, for Ultra League. It's just like really, really strong. He can actually go for the Super Pawn switch out, which is like super good for me because I get some damage on him and I can realign my Aromatis against his Night Hearts. Which is just like really good for me. I'm just gonna shield here so I can avoid the dazzling gleam and he baits me. Yay. And I'm gonna survive the next move still. He goes for another weather ball. I survive another weather ball if he goes for that. He does go for that. And I'm close to uh Thunderbolt here, and the Thunderbolt gonna be able to KO the Chazard, even though it was like if it would be like at full health, it would also be like close to KOing that. So that's kinda nice. Now it depends what he has in the back. He has a Ganga in the back with the one shield. I have my good ray. Goes, go for the money water. And if he no shield this, like we basically win. Yeah, and he no shields, we get the attack drop. Like there's nothing he can do anymore. If he tries to KO me here, I have fun with that. He goes for shadow punch. Like I don't know why you bait me here. I think now he goes for like something bigger. He has sludge bomb, so he's basically has zero energy. I can go into my Snorlax and lick him down. Good game here. Nothing he can do. It. And into the next game, we have. Remedies against Dragonite again, really good. Now we have Polygon 2 and Jellison in the back. My opponent just let this lead go down and goes into Talonflame. And I'm just gonna go for the Thunderbolt here, just in case it, that he does not know that I have Thunderbolt. And he actually let it go. I go to my Jellison, my opponent surrenders. People just don't know that he has a Thunderbolt. Like, take advantage of that before the thing gotta get common. So I think, like, Aromat is like super strong. I, I really like the Thunderbolt option there. Here I kind of make a mistake. I should have went either into my Perrigan right away or like tried to swap out into my um, Jason or something like that. I don't know. My Jason has a bubble here, so it's not as bad. Bubble and bubble beam. I guess so I have like a superpower here. I, I, when I played this team, I was like super, super unlucky with my try attack. Try attack has a 50% chance to lower the attack and the defense of your opponent. I basically got that, I think, one out of 10 times. It was like super bad. I don't know why. Here has a mug in the back. And actually, you're just gonna stay in here. Like, there's no reason for me to switch out. I have a chest in the back, which is way worse against mug here. Here, he at least has to go for the such ways to KO me. And I'm gonna shield here, and I can just try to farm him all the way down. The good thing about Muck is it's just not actually that bulky, and like Charm just chunks him a lot, and I get an extra move in here. I can just farm him all the way down at this point. Get to the move against the Machamp. And I'm like in a super good spot, especially because I have my Jason in the back, and Machamp against Jason is just like such a bad matchup for Machamp. I just gonna switch out here, and I think he's gonna surrender. He's gonna surrender here and get game to my opponent. Next opponent we have... What do you have here? Aromatis against Swampert. Not the best matchup. Yeah, it's like kind of neutral. I actually, if you play this team here, you actually don't have to win the elite. Because like, Porygon is basically only bad against fighting types. And you still have your Jillison, which is good against that. Here you're gonna catch the Earthquake. Gonna go for the Bubble Beam. I don't know, I think you're actually gonna shield this, does he? Yeah, he shields the bubble beam, which is interesting. Goes into a Machamp? Like, what the hell? Swampert going into a Machamp against the Jailson? This, like, seems kinda really sussy. I was gonna know shit if he had, like, what's it called? Payback? Like, that would be crazy at this point, but I can just farm him down with my bubble. He gonna go back into Swampert, I think, does he? Yeah, he goes back into Swampert. Do I shield here? I should have shielded, I think. He goes with the Earthquake, it's okay. I think he has another fighter in the back. No, he has Typhlosion in the back. It's crazy, okay. Yeah, maybe I should shield there. I go for the Thunderbolt, no one knows. And then I think Psyche does actually more. Maybe I'll misplay it there. I can go for the Tri Attack right now, which is going to be able to actually get the Debo, which is nice. I can farm the Lock on, and that's a good game. Into, I think, the last game now. We have Aromatis against Galvantula. 
a very interesting matchup. Actually, I'm most likely going to be live on Twitch, by the way, in like around three to four hours when this video is live. And I'm just going to try to win a game in Ultra Premier with great, great League team. I don't think that's going to happen, but if you want to join me, there's like a link in the description for my Twitch. Would be nice if you check me out, but yeah, it's gonna be interesting if I can do that. For me, it's just like I kind of want to tank elo. I don't like to be at high elo because it's just like it, the Q times are just hard. Like currently, I'm like somewhere around 3100, and even there, like Q times are crazy. And I try to tank like the last few days, and I like only got down for like 200 points. I used like completely stupid stuff and still won against opponents, which is like hmm, cool. Yeah, so here we have a Venusaur that's actually a core breaker with this team, which is like really bad for me. I actually get the attack and defense drop, which is nice. But if you shield this, it's basically game over. I think you're gonna shield this, yeah. So this is a good game. I hope you like this showcase. I maybe showcase it again if when I have it on at level 48.5 or what I need for that thing. And yeah, I really enjoyed this team actually, or oh, this Pokemon in general, actually because just the coverage is better than Clefable. I think it's just like a better version of it basically. So I recommend you hunting that thing down, keep that for like distance trading, that's how I get my most of my XL candy, like you only need to have around two, catch around 200 Pokemon of one species to get 300 XL candy if you like just distance trade with it.